Hey, welcome to the video series. My name is Dr. David Tien, and you can learn more about me at www.asianrake.com as well as at auradating.com, the attraction mindset. There are just three things that you should think about when you're socializing or going out to meet new people. Just three things that take up 90% of your mental processes. And they're very basic, very simple things. But even though they're so simple and quite easy to do, they're also the reason why a lot of people, uh, a lot of guys in particular, when they're going out to become pickup artists or um, trying to mack on girls, usually come across pretty creepy. So these three things, if you do them properly, will counteract any of that and will ensure that you actually have a good time. Because the first one out of the three is have fun. That's right, just very simple, have fun. Um, it's easy to think about having fun when you're out at a bar or, your, or a club. Make sure you're not there just to meet new meet uh, people to, to get something from them. Make sure you're there just to have fun and that you're actually having fun even when you're there by yourself. So figure out how to enjoy yourself in a bar or a club. It took me quite a while because I'm actually a jazz and classical music fan. I love to read books. I was most comfortable in my study room or in a library. So the bar and club scene was very new to me even when I was starting out um, in my early 30s. So it took me a while, but once I figured out how to enjoy myself there, I, enjoyed, um, I started to enjoy certain kinds of drinks, I learned about the music, I learned to enjoy the ambiance even when it was really crowded and busy, and I like to soak in the atmosphere and just watch the social dynamics going on. I learned to enjoy myself just by myself in a club, bar or club, and that made a huge difference. That's step number one, have fun. If you're out during the day, let's say you're in the shopping area, enjoy walking around shopping. So make sure that, for me, I like to have uh, music in the background, so I carried my iPod around, played some music in my ear, earbuds, um, music I liked, sort of like uh, walking around in my own movie with the soundtrack going and a score. Um, I like to carry a drink I like to, I, I enjoy drinking, like um, a pearl tea or something like that, um, just to keep myself refreshed. And um, I went to places where I like to look at the stores that were there. Was, maybe if I found something I liked, I would purchase it. Um, go and do something that you enjoy intrinsically. And then the second thing, once you're having fun, you're um, enjoying yourself, is to make others have fun. So the first is have fun, the second is to make others have fun. So that's just spreading the love, just spreading the good feelings. Um, it's most easy to do at night because it's in a crowded place, because it's uh, naturally a social atmosphere. But you can do this during the day as well. There are a lot of people who are working who are just sort of bored, maybe they're in stores where there aren't, isn't a lot of foot traffic, or maybe they're just tired of their jobs and, and they like to be entertained, so go and entertain them a bit. Just make them laugh, make them smile. Make others have fun, that's number two. And then number three is make connections and see if people meet your standards. Okay, so once you're making other people have fun and you're having fun, you can then see if they um, have anything in common with you. Let's see if they, you can see if they meet your standards. This is a good time for the technique of screening and qualifying. Um, you can uh, just tease and use humor in this context as well and see if they share your sense of humor, if they um, share your taste in art or in travel. And you're basically just thinking about those three things when you're going out to meet people. Have fun, make other people have fun, make connections and see if people meet your standards. The remaining 10% of your mental processes can be taken up with maybe 5% handling logistics, figuring out where you're going and what you're going to do next and, and the physicality of it. And the other 5% could be just verbal techniques or, or new um, nonverbal techniques or any kind of things that you want to work on in terms of the social arts. But that material and that um, improvement should only be taking up 5% of your mental processes. So at home, in your study room, you can work on getting better with women, getting better with people, learning um, some uh, conversational techniques and so forth. But once you step outside and you're, you're ready to be social, you want to put that in the back of your mind.